Released nearly four decades ago, Weird Science followed the misadventures of two high school geeks, Gary and Wyatt, who used their computer to create the perfect woman, Lisa, played by the stunning Kelly LeBrock. But what has become of the talented actors who brought these characters to life? Join us as we delve into the lives and careers of the Weird Science cast. 39 years after the film's release, get ready to be amazed by the transformations and successes of our favorite stars from Weird Science. Let's dive in. Judy Aronson as Hilly. In 1985, she starred in the popular comedy film Weird Science as Hilly. Aronson was born in Los Angeles, California in 1964. Her debut on the big screen was in the 1984 horror movie Friday the 13th, the final chapter as Samantha. Apart from short films, she has not been seen in movies or television since her role in the 2005 film Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Aronson portrayed Sarah Duncan on the short-lived TV series Pursuit of Happiness, 1987-88. She has also appeared as a guest on various television programs, including Sledgehammer, The Powers of Matthew Starr, Simon & Simon, Midnight Caller, Full House, Beverly Hills, 90217, Las Vegas, Charles in Charge, and Law and & Order, Criminal Intent. She made a cameo appearance in the 1990 music video Can't Live Without Your Love and Affection by Nelson. Besides her acting endeavors, Aronson is also an entrepreneur. She previously owned a curio shop and presently operates Pilates Studios in the Los Angeles area. Elon Mitchell Smith as Wyatt. He was selected for the role of Wyatt Donnelly in the 1985 adolescent flick Weird Science by screenwriter director John Hughes. Mitchell Smith's initial passion revolved around ballet. He underwent training during his childhood and even secured a scholarship to train with the School of American Ballet. While studying there on scholarship, he was spotted by a casting director, marking the beginning of his film career in 1982 at the age of 12, portraying a younger version of the main character in Sidney Lumet's Daniel. Mitchell Smith earned his A.B. in Medieval Studies from the University of California, Davis, UC Davis, and his MA in Medieval Studies from Fordham University. He attained a doctoral degree from Texas A&M University in 2005. As of January 2020, he serves as an associate professor in the English department at California State University Long Beach, CSU Long Beach, in Long Beach, California. Prior to joining CSU Long Beach, he held a faculty position at Angelo State University in San Angelo, Texas, for numerous years. Mitchell Smith conducts research on chivalry during the later Middle Ages, and he also explores the cinematic, television, and video game interpretations of medieval culture. Mitchell Smith was born in New York City, New York. His mother, Clary Mitchell Smith, works as a psychotherapist, while his father, Larry Smith, teaches art history. He met Susanna Demaray at Santa Monica College in Santa Monica, California. They tied the knot in 1995. The couple has two children born in 1998 and 2000. Bill Paxton as Chet, a supporting character as the antagonistic elder sibling Chet Donnelly in John Hughes's Weird Science, 1985. He helmed several brief films, including the visual accompaniment for Barnes & Barnes' quirky tune, Fish Heads, which aired during Saturday Night Live's less-viewed 1980-81 season and received frequent airtime during the initial phases of Canadian music channel Much Music. He was enlisted for a music video for the 1982 Pat Benatar track, Shadows of the Night, where he portrayed a Nazi communications officer. Paxton wed Kelly Rowan in 1979, but their marriage ended in divorce just a year later. Subsequently, he encountered Louise Newberry on the number 37 bus in Twickenham, London, where she was a student, and they exchanged vows in 1987. They took up residence in Ojai, California, and welcomed two offspring, a son named James, born 1994, who also pursued acting, and a daughter named Lydia, born 1997. 
In early 2017, Paxton disclosed in an interview on WTF with Mark Marin that he had a defective aortic heart valve stemming from rheumatic fever contracted during his childhood. On February 14, 2017, he underwent open-heart surgery at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles to mend the faulty valve and address an aortic aneurysm. A subsequent day, he underwent an unplanned second surgery to rectify a damaged coronary artery. His health declined over the ensuing 10 days, and he succumbed to a stroke on February 25th at the age of 61. He was cremated, and his remains were interred at the Forest Lawn Memorial Park of Hollywood Hills. One year subsequent to Paxton's passing, his kin initiated a wrongful death lawsuit against Ali Koinazad, the surgeon responsible for his operation, alleging that Koinazad employed high-risk and unconventional techniques and was absent from the operating theater when Paxton experienced complications such as ventricular dysfunction, tachycardia, and a compromised right coronary artery, which they contend led to the coronary artery damage, necessitating a second surgery and ultimately precipitated Paxton's demise. Anthony Michael Hall as Gary. Hall embodies the character of Gary Wallace, another endearing outsider, in Weird Science. At the age of seven, Hall embarked on his career in advertisements. He became known as the face of Honeycomb Cereal and featured in numerous commercials promoting toys and bounty. His theatrical debut occurred in 1977, when he was cast as the young Steve Allen in Allen's partially autobiographical play, The Wake. He subsequently appeared in the Lincoln Center Festival's rendition of St. Joan of the Microphone and collaborated on a play with Woody Allen. In 1980, he made his debut on screen in the Emmy-winning television film The Gold Bug, portraying the young Edgar Allan Poe. In 1981, he assumed the role of Huck Finn in Rascals and Robbers, The Secret Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, but it was not until the release of the 1982 Kenny Rogers film Six Pack that he garnered significant attention. As of 2016, Hall resides in the Playa del Rey neighborhood of Los Angeles. He serves as the godfather to Robert Downey Jr.'s son, Indio Falconer Downey. On November 17, 2016, Hall was charged by the Los Angeles District Attorney with felony assault resulting in serious bodily injury following a September 13th altercation with a neighbor at his Playa del Rey condominium complex. In September 2017, Hall entered a plea of no contest to a lesser charge, was convicted, and received a sentence of three years probation and 40 hours of community service. Subsequently, he faced a lawsuit from the victim. In 2019, Hall became engaged to Slovak-Canadian actress Lucia Oskarova. Hall maintains a neutral stance on politics, although during a 2020 interview on YouTube, he lauded Republican President Donald Trump as exceptional and remarked, I believe his contributions to the nation are remarkable. Hall also insinuated that conservative performers face discrimination in Hollywood and attested to experiencing it firsthand. Hall supports underprivileged youth through his literacy initiative, the Anthony Michael Hall Literacy Club, affiliated with Chapman University. In February 2023, Anthony Michael Hall and his spouse, Lucia Oskarova, disclosed that they are anticipating their first child. Their son was born in June 2023, Suzanne Snyder as Deb. Suzanne Snyder is most recognized for her leading performances, notably as Deb in Weird Science. Snyder grew up in Wilmot, Illinois, and attended North Shore Country Day School. She graced the cover of an issue of Teen Magazine. Snyder initiated her professional acting journey while enrolled at Northwestern University. Her debut acting role occurred in the 1983 film Class. Her final appearance in a film was in Dancing on a Dry Salt Lake, 2010. Her television repertoire encompasses guest appearances in episodes of various shows, including two installments each of Seinfeld, Family Ties, Silver Spoons, and Jake and the Fat Man.
Her concluding television portrayal was in a 1996 episode of Homicide, Life on the Street. Additionally, Snyder showcased her talent on stage, featuring in the Los Angeles rendition of The Perfect People of Pepper Street. Vernon Wells as Lord General. Hollywood called for Wells, and he parodied his intense biker character in the renowned 1985 adolescent comedy Weird Science. Wells initially worked in a quarry, then transitioned to sales, and eventually delved into theater and rock bands. During the 1970s, casting agents spotted him for a theater production, leading to appearances in Australian TV commercials, print ads, and local shows such as Homicide and Matlock Police, as well as historical TV miniseries like Against the Wind, Sarah Dane, and All the Rivers Run. His cinematic debut came with a minor role in Felicity, 1979, an independent, provocative fantasy film. Wells gained international recognition for his portrayal of the menacing biker Wes in Mad Max 2, 1981, filmed in the outback of New South Wales, Australia. This role remains his most iconic, depicting a deranged, post-apocalyptic henchman relentlessly pursuing protagonist Max Rokotansky, Mel Gibson, before meeting a dramatic demise in the film's climax. In 1992, Wells took on one of his rare non-villainous roles in the short-lived 1992 TV comedy series The Amazing Live Sea Monkeys. The show centered on a professor who accidentally enlarged three sea monkeys to human size, leading to humorous misadventures. In 1993, Wells starred in the sci-fi film Fortress alongside Christopher Lambert, unrelated to the earlier film of the same title. In 2002, he revisited his iconic role for the Power Rangers Wild Force Time Force crossover episode Reinforcements from the Future. Wells also appeared in the 2009 horror flick Silent Night, Zombie Night. Notably, Vernon Wells delivered an award-worthy performance in Trouble Is My Business, 2018. Robert Rusler as Max. His debut on the silver screen was as Max in the 1985 comedic sensation Weird Science. Rusler entered the world in Fort Wayne, Indiana, born to Maria Elena, née Varela, and Richard C. Rusler. His journey led him to Waikiki Beach in Hawaii, where he embraced surfing and skateboarding at a semi-professional level, engaging in local competitions. Later, his family relocated to Los Angeles, where he immersed himself in martial arts training and participated in numerous contests. Following his graduation from high school, Robert ventured into the realm of acting, enrolling in acting classes at the Loft Studio under the guidance of Peggy Fury and William Trailer. During the filming of the movie, Rob forged a close friendship with the film's lead, Mark Patton. Additionally, he portrayed Richard Lawson in the 1991 television movie Stephen King's Sometimes They Come Back. Rustler has graced various television series with his presence, including the short-lived 1990 series The Outsiders as Tim Shepard and the 1993 series Angel Falls. However, he is most recognized for his role in the 1990s acclaimed science fiction series Babylon 5 as Warren Keffer in season 2, 1994-1995. He showcased his talent in the 1995 sci-fi video game flight simulator, Wing Commander RV, alongside stars Mark Hamill and Malcolm McDowell. Additionally, he made a memorable appearance in an episode of the TV series, The Unit. Rusler has made cameo appearances on a wide array of television shows, spanning from The Facts of Life, Snoops, Cold Case, Medium, The Unit, The Closer, 24, Navy NCIS, Naval Criminal Investigative Service, to Enterprise, where he portrayed Orgoth in the season three episode Anomaly. He even graced a Heineken commercial directed by Oliver Stone, Britt Leach as Al. Britt Leach portrayed Anthony Michael Hall's plumper father in Weird Science. Leach entered the world on July 18, 1938, in Gadsden, Alabama. He completed his education at McCallie School, a preparatory institution for young men in Chattanooga, Tennessee, graduating in 1956.
Later, he earned his degree from Birmingham Southern College, where he actively participated in collegiate theater during the mid-1960s. He pursued further studies at Northwestern University and briefly served in Army intelligence. Leach embarked on his journey in the film and television industry in the early 1970s. Among his notable cinematic roles are the portrayal of the rustic bartender Dan Oldham in Jackson County Jail, the stern Detective Sergeant Cook in Night Warning, the irritable toy store manager Mr. Sims in Silent Night, Deadly Night, and the resident of a trailer park, Mr. Potter, in The Last Starfighter. Transitioning away from acting in the early 1990s, Leach's final appearance on the silver screen was an uncredited role in the 1991 film Father of the Bride. In this role, his character, a supermarket assistant manager, confronts Steve Martin's character over a scene in the supermarket and has him arrested for it. From 1992 to 1999, Leach served as co-editor and publisher of Country Connections a bi-monthly magazine recognized for its coverage of environmental and progressive social matters. Additionally, he has penned poems. In 2007, Leach chose not to renew his membership in the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and expressed his frustration with DVD screeners through a satirical piece on his personal website. He currently resides in Sherman Oaks, California, alongside his wife, Catherine Roberts Leach. Michael Berryman as Mutant Biker Michael Berryman portrayed Mutant Biker in Weird Science. Michael John Berryman was born on September 4, 1948, in Los Angeles, California, the second child of Sloan and Barbara Berryman. He has an older sister named Virginia. Berryman has ancestry from Germany. His great-grandfather from Germany was a physician who practiced in Vienna. Berryman's mother worked as a nurse, while his father served as a neurosurgeon in the U.S. Navy and was stationed in the Hiroshima fallout area following the atomic bombing. Berryman took on a role in the horror film Below Zero, 2012, a British-Canadian production directed by Justin Thomas Orstenson. He made special appearances at various events, including the third annual San Antonio Horrific Film Fest in August 2010, the Cinema Wasteland Convention in April 2011, and the Contamination Convention in Missouri in June 2012. From 2014 to 2018, he portrayed the character Zona's founder in Z Nation. Additionally, in 2024, he starred in a horror movie titled they Turned Us Into Killers, alongside Taryn Manning, Scout Taylor Compton, and Kane Hodder. Berryman actively supports environmental conservation efforts and resided on a wolf sanctuary for a decade. Robert Downey Jr. as Ian Robert Downey Jr. portrays Ian in Weird Science. Downey embarked on expanding his repertoire beyond theater, marking his stage debut in 1983 at the Gava Theater Center in Alms for the Middle Class, performing for a three-week engagement. He also appeared in the short-lived off-Broadway musical American Passion at the Joyce Theater in 1983 under the production of Norman Lear. In 1984, Downey secured a role in the film Firstborn, where he crossed paths with Sarah Jessica Parker, sparking a romantic relationship between them. Downey initiated a romantic involvement with actress Sarah Jessica Parker in 1984, following their encounter on the set of Firstborn. At the time, both were 18 years old and decided to cohabitate after just eight weeks of dating. However, their relationship eventually came to an end eight years later in 1991, primarily due to Downey's struggles with drug addiction. Downey tied the knot with actress and vocalist Deborah Falconer on May 29, 1992, following a courtship lasting 42 days. Their son was born in September 1993. The strain caused by Downey's recurrent stints in rehabilitation facilities and encounters with law enforcement eventually led to the dissolution of their marriage. In 2001, amidst Downey's final arrest and subsequent rehabilitation, Falconer decided to end their relationship, taking custody of their son. 
Downey and Falconer finalized their divorce on April 26, 2004. Kelly LeBrock as Lisa. Kelly LeBrock portrayed Lisa in the film. LeBrock commenced her career as a model at the age of 16 in her birthplace of New York City. Her breakthrough occurred at 19 when she featured in a 24-page spread in Vogue magazine. Shortly thereafter, she secured a contract with Christian Dior to work for the fashion label 30 Days Annually. Subsequently, she graced numerous magazine covers and fashion spreads, becoming one of Eileen Ford's most sought-after models. She gained widespread recognition for her appearance in a Pantene shampoo commercial, where her line, Don't envy me because I'm beautiful, became a popular catchphrase in pop culture. LeBrock's initial marriage was to film producer and restaurateur Victor Dry in 1984. Their marriage ended in divorce in 1986. It was during this period that she crossed paths with actor and martial artist Steven Seagal. Their daughter Annalisa was born in the spring of 1987, and the couple tied the knot in September of the same year. Their son Dominic arrived in June 1990, followed by their daughter Arissa in 1993. The subsequent year, LeBrock filed for divorce from Seagale, citing irreconcilable differences. In July 2007, LeBrock wed retired investment banker Fred Steck, only to divorce him the following year. As of 2011, LeBrock resides on a ranch in California's Santa Inez Valley. Following the passing of her brother Harold in 2008, LeBrock began dedicating her time to assisting the terminally ill. She has been actively involved with Club Carson, an organization supporting children battling cancer. While some have continued to grace the screens with their performances, others have pursued different paths, whether it be in academia, entrepreneurship, or advocacy. Yet, the bond forged during the making of Weird Science remains strong, a testament to the enduring camaraderie among the cast. Until then, let's cherish the memories and celebrate the remarkable journey of the Weird Science cast, then and now.